Okay, kindergarten friends, our next big project is an alphabet. I know you guys are studying really hard to learn all of your letters and learn how to write them, so we're gonna practice that in art and give it lots of color. But we're not gonna start with the alphabet, we're gonna start with texture. So I have here oil pastels, my paper, and some texture plates. I've made these with hot glue and little cards. This has a curvy line on it. Here we have some with some diagonal and some spirals, and there's a whole bunch of different kinds in here that we're gonna use underneath our paper with oil pastels to make some texture. Now these are kind of big to fit under our paper. See these squares right here? This is as big as two squares. So I can put it here and get this design right here on this paper using my oil pastel. These are called neon colors. Neon colors are extra bright, kind of like a highlighter, and I need it to have no paper on it because I'm actually gonna use it on its side like this. So if yours have paper on them, we can pull the paper off, lay it down on its side and push and pull while you're holding your paper down with the card underneath so that way you can see the design. If you color with it like this, it's gonna fill in that space and you won't be able to see the design that your card made. So there I have spirals here and it showed up on my paper. So what we're gonna do is I want you to do different colors all over your paper. You can even choose two different colors in two separate squares if you would like to, to fill up your entire paper with color and texture. You know it's a texture because texture feels like something. I can run my finger over these and feel the spiral. Now texture is not always something that you just feel. Texture can also be something that you see. So things can look sharp, things can look soft, things can look like they have spikes or like a cloud looks fluffy. So things can have texture that you see and also texture that you can feel. So like I said, you can do one color in two squares next to each other or you can try to do one color in each square. It's up to you. Now, let's see how fast I can do this. Hey, sweet friends, now that I've got my oil pastel all over my paper, I'm going to put watercolor on top. Now these are liquid watercolors. They already have water in them, so we don't need any water, and one container has their own brush. So whatever color that I'd like to start with, I'm just going to grab that brush and paint on top of my color with that brush, and then when I'm done, put that same brush back in that color. So if I'm sharing with my friends and I'm using the neon yellow and someone wants to use it, they're gonna have to wait till I'm done. So it's really important that you choose a color that is not the same that you're gonna paint on top of. I don't wanna choose green on top of green or blue on top of blue. I wanna choose colors that are different. That way I can see both my paint and my color of my oil pastel. These are also neon colored paints, which is really fun. And remember, when we use watercolor and oil pastel together, the watercolor and the oil pastel resist, so I can still see my drawing through my paint. Also try to make sure to use two different colors side by side. So I don't wanna put pink or red or yellow here, I wanna use maybe blue, because I haven't used that yet. Now that we have this beautiful masterpiece, we're gonna put our alphabet on top. So you're gonna have a cup of India ink to share with your friend sitting next to you, and you're also going to have a Q-tip of your very own. And if you notice, there are enough squares 
for your whole entire alphabet and actually we'll have two extras that you can choose what to do on there. So be careful with this India ink. It will not come out of your clothes, but if you use it the right way, it will not get on you. So I'm gonna start by dipping my Q-tip down in the ink, get it all covered just like this. And then I'm gonna start right here in my first square with the letter A. And then we have a B. I wonder how fast you can say the alphabet. Now, once you finish with your alphabet, you can decide whether or not you want to leave these two spaces blank or add something to it. 